Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a few very important financial function in Microsoft Excel. Suppose you have secured a loan of $100,000 for a period of one year with an interest rate of 10% which is charged yearly. Based on this particular data, now we have to calculate the monthly installment for this particular loan. We will also calculate monthly interest as well as the principal amount that we will have to pay each month to our lender. Let's see how we can do that. Just to calculate the installment, we will use this PMT function. So simply write is equal PMT and press tab. And now over here, you can see we have the syntax of this particular function is equal PMT tab. And let's apply the function arguments. So the first one is rate. And the rate over here is a 10% and let's divide it by 12. It must be noted that the rate in the function is calculated yearly, but we will have to calculate it for the month. That is why I have divided it by 12 comma number of periods. Number of periods is just one year. And again, we are calculating it for the month. So we will actually multiply it with 12 comma again pv present value or the principal amount and the principal amount of the loan is hundred thousand dollar and rest of the parameters are simply optional so let me close the bracket and press enter and there we go so this is the installment that we will have to pay each month to our lender Next, we want to calculate the monthly interest that would be incurred on each installment. Next, we will calculate the monthly interest that will be charged from us. For that, we'll use IPMT function interest per month. So again, we will write is equal IPMT tab. Again, red is 10%. Let's divide it by 12 for the month let's divide it by 12 to calculate it monthly comma over here per means which particular month let's calculate it for the first month so i'll enter one you can calculate for any month comma NPER NPER means number of periods so this is actually one year and again for monthly calculation we will multiply it with 12 and finally PV the present value and present value is hundred thousand dollar and let's close the bracket leaving the optional arguments and now press enter so this is the monthly interest that you will have to pay to your lender and finally we will use ppmt function that is a principal amount per month so again let's write is equal ppmt trade rate so again this is the rate divide by 12 per period that is we are calculating it for the first month so i'll write one comma number of periods so this is one year multiply with 12 and the present value it is this one simply close the bracket press enter and there we go so this is the principal amount that will be charged from you and this is the monthly interest now if you combine these two you would get this installment now let me show you how much is the monthly interest that you will have to pay each month for one year so here i have listed months and now let me calculate the interest that we will have to pay each month just to calculate for the 12 months we will have to use exactly the same function but we will have to make some values absolute that is they won't change as we move down the cells so how we will do that let me show you is equal i p m t rate so this is going to be the rate let's make it fixed by pressing f4 key from your keyboard divided by 12 so that we could calculate it on monthly basis comma period that is per means which particular month we are interested to calculate interest so it is the first month comma NPER number of periods. So this is going to be this particular value. Let's make it fixed by pressing F4 key and again multiply it with 12 to calculate it for 12 months. Otherwise the formula have it for a year comma. Now PV is present value or the principal amount and this is going to be this one. Again let's make it fixed by pressing F4 key from your keyboard again comma fv means a future value which we are not currently interested 
again press comma and now you can see it shows two value zero for the end of the period one for the beginning of the period so actually it shows the interest could be charged even before the month's start or at the end of the month if you are interested to let the interest charged at the beginning of the month plan you need to put in one otherwise you can insert zero by default zero is considered let me put in zero close the bracket press enter and there we have our value and let me copy the formula down to all cells and there you go so this is the monthly interest that you will have to pay to your lender in a similar fashion we can actually calculate the principal amount as well let me do it quickly is equal ppmt rate so this is rate f4 divided by 12 comma this is the first month again number of periods so this one again make it fixed multiply with 12 principal value this particular one let's make it fix as well close the bracket press enter and there we have our principal amount and let me copy it to all the cells and there you can see this is the principal amount that would be charged from your account along with the interest rate and if both are combined then this will give you the monthly installment that you will have to pay each month so that was it for today's tutorial i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching